visitor to South Africa can have a wild adventure on a luxury safari where the lodging and meals are first class all the way, then wine, dine, and shop in the cities and visit breathtaking world-famous attractions. And if the trip ends there, perhaps miss the true heart of Africa, the real Africa experience. South Africa is marketed as a wonderful destination because of its beauty and its friendly people. But there's so much, I think, that the average tourist doesn't get to see. Terry Von Guillaume is a native-born South African who settled in the United States and now lives in Tucson, Arizona. Missing his homeland, he founded tour company Destination Southern Africa. His work arranging customized vacations to Africa keeps him connected to his roots and now allows him to make a difference where his help is truly needed. The majority of Africans um, are definitely below the poverty line. The living conditions are pretty shocking. Um, unless our government has gone in and uh, done sanitation and put electricity lines in, you'll find most South Africans living in squalor. Von Guillaume says typically vacationers to South Africa never see how most people live because they're on luxury safaris, visiting modern cities, beautiful beaches, and more. Look at their little legs. But he's found once his clients are made aware of the problems, often they're eager to help, like the New Jersey teacher and her students who collected school supplies, packaged them up, and shipped them to Africa for distribution to grateful children after simply hearing from Van Guillaume about the need. Hands down, the U.S. traveler is the most open to, number one, learning about the problems at hand and then giving back. To tap into that generosity, Destination Southern Africa has launched a day trip called the Real Africa Experience, which brings visitors to two rural locations, providing a chance to connect with the local people, raise money for much needed supplies, and spark creative ideas about how those with plenty can spread their good fortune around. Malabalong is situated in one of the poorest areas of South Africa. About an hour's drive from Kruger National Park and the nearby luxury game lodges is the impoverished community of Bismarck, where reportedly a shocking 80% of the people are unemployed. You look in that classroom, you see what? Mesa. Now, who can give me 600 students attend the local Malabalong Primary School in this crowded classroom, 70 children to just one teacher. The government provides the students with a simple lunch of cornmeal porridge and cabbage prepared in this outdoor shack. For many of the children, it's the only meal of the day. That's our first goal, is to give these kids a healthier meal than they're getting at the moment. And then over here is spinach. With the help of some employees from the nearby Kuname River Lodge, the community banded together to plant a huge garden of tomatoes, beets, orange trees, and more. Just months later, this is the bountiful result, produce now used to make the children's school meals more nutritious. DSA's tours to the school support the expansion of the garden to create a mini business for local women selling vegetables to their own community and beyond. The bigger idea is to actually sell these organic vegetables to luxury lodges north and south of that community. That way, stimulating more capital into um, the community and allowing us to focus on bigger projects. The ablution facilities, which is the toilets at the school, are pretty shocking. No closing doors no privacy um, and very unhygienic. So our intention is to knock those down and put in um, a flush system. Currently we're working with Rotary International um, at doing a water project where we're going to harvest rainwater 
um, and set up an irrigation system, not only for the vegetable garden, but to have um, healthy running water that will come out of the faucet in more locations throughout the community. The second stop on the Real Africa Tour takes visitors to a rural community named Ofkalako, where Catholic nuns have established Holy Family Care Center, an orphanage now home to about 90 children whose parents lost their lives to AIDS. Many of the children themselves are HIV positive, yet with the best medications, expert care, and lots of love, they're thriving. What you will see is happy, healthy children, because that's what we're trying to create here. It's about quality of life, giving them a chance in life, giving them a future, giving them love, joy, you know? Visitors pay a fee for the tours, with all proceeds benefiting the school and orphanage directly. DSA makes no profit from the trips. Some clients who have been on the tours, including young people with a U.S. jump roping team, return home saying those precious, authentic hours were the highlight of their vacation. The joy on the kids' faces and the interaction. The kids at the school and the orphanage were extremely friendly um, and happy. For the American group of kids, just blown away by such a different culture with so much adversity, yet they're still so happy. Um, that was quite surprising to them. Von Guillaume's commitment to his beloved homeland is for the long haul, and he plans to stay focused on the two communities he's chosen. In a tiny part of a huge continent, he's determined to bring about big change in a lasting and meaningful way. I want to see it followed through from start to finish. I don't want it to be a project where after two years we disappear. And in order to do that, we have to give a hand up versus a hand out. It makes me feel successful. It makes me think of my own parents and wish they were around to see it. And it gives me a huge sense of achievement, knowing that it actually took so little, um, relatively speaking, to make such a huge difference. To learn more about the Real Africa Experience Tours, call Destination Southern Africa at 1-800-203-6724 or visit DSA's website at myafricavacation.com. You also can make a financial contribution to DSA Pays It Forward, a nonprofit founded specifically to fund improvement projects in Africa. Thank you.